Well, you seem like you're a very happy person, <laughs> very happy. And um, would you say that the personal development has contributed to your happiness as a person? It has been absolutely everything. Okay. And a question I get a lot is, were you always this way? I get that question almost every day. Right. Were you always like this? And my answer was, absolutely not. Not? No. Oh, okay. Absolutely not. All right. And I told this the other day, and you couldn't believe it. I was the kid, when I was playing tennis growing up, I was the kid who was screaming and throwing my racket when yes. a point or a game or a match did not go my way. I find that very hard to believe. It, it was somewhere I started playing tennis competitively at 12 and really stopped when I was actually like 11 or so and stopped when I graduated from high school so mm -hmm. until 17 so maybe like five or six years it was all day everyday tennis and during the middle years I was a mess as a kid emotionally all over the place throwing rackets slamming rackets screaming up and wow. my my mom pulled me aside one day and maybe this was one of the few things she actually told me to do and she said no it's not not a, not a cool thing yeah so I rode the roller coaster of emotions like most people do today right. I rode them every day it is an amazingly beautiful almost perfect Northern California day yes. cool breeze blue sky few clouds I don't know what's more perfect than what's right now so back in the day if I experienced this I would be happy right. if it was overcast or rainy I would be downright gloomy oh, okay. if someone was nice to me I was happy if someone was mean to me I was miserable oh. if my sports team won uh -huh. I was ecstatic right. if they lost I was literally devastated devastated wow I, I can tell you <laughs> Franco Harris and playoff game I, I, I re relive it every night every time it comes back I can feel how depressed and how devastated my entire family was because we were so emotionally connected to a game which is okay yeah. if that's your choice right but the point is I rode that roller coaster of emotions every single day mm. and it took me only about 50 years to figure it out okay and here's why it's only been a few years ago right here's what I figured out I figured out that I was giving control to how I felt emotionally to outside circumstances and to other people I was giving that oh, control right and if I was giving that control and I wasn't doing it consciously I was just doing it out of habit or maybe even human nature if I was giving that control that meant I had the power to keep that control yeah, and it was I can't remember the day or the real moment but it, it was somewhat of an epiphany that I had control of how I felt now I knew I didn't have control of the weather or the circumstances or me even what other people say think or do uh -huh. but I did have control and do have control of how I feel emotionally right so it started out with the understanding mm -hmm. that I either give control or I keep it and then it's a decision on how I feel now I think all of us have heard that yeah. decisions you know happiness is a choice and right. uh -huh. all that kind of stuff yeah. and most people say yeah 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 but don't really get it I got it That's that it was a choice yes. so I had the understanding that it was my decision to give control or keep it mm -hmm. I realized that I had a choice in how I wanted to feel emotionally not physically but emotionally right and then here's the here's the final kind of key the final key was I realized and I don't think I've really heard this anywhere I realized that feeling good emotionally or being happy is a skill a skill well you can prove it okay. because anything that you can learn improve and maybe even master that's my definition of a skill okay 
So can you learn how to be happy? Yes. Can you improve your ability to be happy? Yes. Can you master happiness? Yes. It's a skill. Right. Okay. As soon as I learned this, this it changed my life forever. As soon as I learned that happiness was a skill, that feeling good emotionally was a skill, it was game over. I understand. Game over means everybody has at least one skill that they're good at. Maybe it's skateboarding, maybe it's music, maybe it's sports, maybe it's raising kids, maybe it's speaking, maybe it's this or that. Everybody has a skill and they've achieved that skill pretty much the same way. Mm -hmm. Either they have had an idea that they 